Okay folks, welcome to yet another interesting review video on this channel. Today we are going to be looking at one of the newest e-commerce companies called Stake Exchange, what it's about, its pros and cons, and at the end of the video I will rate it on a scale of 1 to 100 as an indication of whether it is safe for you to invest in it or not, so be sure to stick around all the way to the end of this video. Stake Exchange is very similar to Chimo, which I did a review on a few weeks back. Do well to check that video out as well, the link will be in the description box below. A lot of people have made cool cash from these businesses, but despite the evidence of payments from Chimo and Stick X and affiliates, I feel there is more to be investigated about the companies. And as stated earlier, that is what we'll be covering in this video. If you are new here, on this channel we review businesses, websites and apps, we talk about how to make money online, and finally we throw in a few videos about investing and personal finance. So if that sounds good to you, then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever we put out new videos. In this review video, I shall be discussing the journey of Stake Exchange so far, highlighting with an unbiased disposition the possible red flags, and at the end, I'll take a stand as I normally do on review videos on this channel. Before I continue with the video, do me a favor and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It allows this video to get seen by way more people and it thought it assists the channel grow way faster. So alright, with that said, for the very last time, let us get straight into the video. So this review video will be centered on the background, the CEO, the longevity and sustainability of the company, the company's registration according to whois.com, the nature of the company, supports, review with scamdoc and scamadvisor.com, their social media presence, company products, compensation plan, and finally I will give a conclusion. So now let's get started. Stake Exchange is an online and offline based e-commerce company with a new innovative business concept built around rewarding customers every time they shop from the platform. It is basically an online and offline based e-commerce company that uses MLM to promote itself. According to the website, Stake Exchange is a Philippine based company co-founded by Sean Costin, a Chinese born British man who has been in the startup financing workspace with years of network and marketing experience. It is said to have its administrative office in the UK with Benson Kogan as the head of marketing. But here lies the problem. As I gathered from my investigation, the people behind Stick Exchange International are not openly known. Both Sean Costin and Benson Kruger are missing in the online space. Why would a company with genuine intentions not be sincere with the brains behind its establishment? This is rather suspicious and is a huge red flag and simply cannot just be ignored in my opinion. As I gathered from whois.com and the company's website, Stake Exchange originated from the Philippines and was established on the 8th of July 2020. It was officially launched on the 7th of October 2020, barely two weeks as of the time of making this video. I also gathered that the company has existed since 22nd of November 2017 as an international training program but didn't fully evolve into an e-commerce company until the 9th of May 2019 and pre-launched openly on the 29th of July 2020. According to whois.com, Stake Exchange website is due to expire on July the 7th, 2026, meaning that the company has plans to last for at least 6 years. I think this is a sign that no one here is out to run away with your money since they plan to last for a couple of years. So this is definitely a plus since the life expectancy of the domain is quite impressive. As stated clearly on the website, the goal of the company is to solve customer loyalty problems through their new revolutionary business model. On the Stake Exchange website, they sell quantum products and some men and women collections. They also sell a few other products that are not quantum products like mosquito repellent bracelets, water purifiers, etc. However, only affiliates can purchase quantum products. I have some reservations because I see no reason why quantum products should be reserved for affiliates only. If the goal of a company is to make profit, then it makes sense to sell all products to all customers regardless of whether they are affiliates or not. This is the same case in Chimo, only affiliates are allowed to purchase quantum products. Again, the video will be linked in the description box below in case you have not checked it out. My conclusion on this is that I feel it is very very suspicious that only affiliates have access to quantum products, but what do I know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stake Action is practicing what is called profit sharing e-commerce. What it means is that you as a customer or partner can buy a stake in a company's profit sharing metrics. The company has a profit matrix which they share in part with people who purchase their products. Now to ensure a sustainable and long lasting system, the company keeps part of the money as their profit and pays the rest to investors, which are paid in bits within a period of 30 days, depending on the investor's initial shopping package, either as a basic, classic or pro member. After the company has deducted its own profit, every investor will be left with between 
to 129% of their initial investment. Meaning that if you buy a product of $100, in 30 days you can earn a total of between $124 and $129. Now in order to ensure sustainability of the system, just as you earn the stake shop profits from other customers' purchases, other customers will also earn a share profit from your own next purchase. So the money you are paid is split into two sections. 80% is paid as a shopping voucher, which you can use to reorder products from the e-store, and 20% is paid as a commission, which you can withdraw whenever you want. Long story cut short, simply put, you cannot withdraw your entire profit. You can only withdraw 20% of your profit, while the other 80% is used to reorder products. However, this isn't the only way to make money from the scheme. To earn the most amount of money from stake exchange, you need to recruit downliners, and this is where things begin to add up quite nicely. It is possible for the system to stay afloat without much advertisement or recruitment of new investors, but for stake exchange to really thrive, a constant inflow of investors is absolutely necessary. This is why there is a handsome reward for investors who recruit more investors. This is probably one of the reasons why people who will be trying to convince you to join stake exchange might not tell you about the downsides of the company because they are looking at the handsome profit they can get from getting you to sign up under them. But I can't hold this against stake exchange because this is the standard practice of most multi-level marketing companies and in a way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. According to scamvoid.net, a site which provides detailed information about websites with the aim to identify recently created websites, fraudulent webshops, potentially unsafe websites, perform many security checks, including if the website is known to be a scam, if the domain is recent, created less than six months ago, if the website is using a valid HTTPS connection, etc. So according to this scamvoid.net, stickaction.com is declared as a potentially safe site to do business. The site is not blacklisted, it has medium traffic volume, and it has a valid HTTPS connection. ScamAdvisor.com also rated the exchange website relatively high, 75%. However, ScamAdvisor highlights that the owner of the website is hiding his identity through a paid service, which is a red flag in my opinion. I see absolutely no reason why the owner of a business will hide his identity, not talk about going as far as using a paid service to hide his identity. So this is definitely a red flag and is one of the things to put into consideration when deciding whether or not to join Steak Exchange. Scamdoc, on the other hand, gives Steak Exchange a really low trust score. Some of these reasons included that the domain name is very recent and the creation of the domain name is rather too recent as well. Although stake exchange accounts are present on social media across Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and Telegram, it is hard to tell which accounts are the official stake exchange accounts. On their website, only their Telegram and WhatsApp accounts are linked to the website. So I'm going to assume that those are their official Telegram and WhatsApp accounts. Although social media icons like Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook are present on the website, they do not link to any social media accounts. They just take you back to the top of the web page. In other words, only a Telegram and a WhatsApp account are linked to the stake exchange website. So I am unable to conclude that the stake exchange accounts I saw on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook are the official social media accounts of stake exchange. I think Stage Exchange has made a commendable effort in being available to their customers. You can reach them via Telegram, via WhatsApp, and in addition, there is a phone number on the website as well as a contact email address. So in conclusion, I think this one is a very close call. While there may be a number of red flags, I think this one may last a while. It has some good sides to it that I am unable to overlook. It has a good business model, it has products, and it has a domain that has an encouraging life expectancy. Although I do not understand in my wildest dreams why the owner of such a business would want to hide his identity. So for all these reasons as already stated in the video, I would give Stake Exchange 65% on a scale of 1 to 100 for very obvious reasons. The good side to some extent outweighs the bad side and that's why it got up to 65%. But remember this is not financial advice, this is just my thoughts on stake exchange. But I'd like to know your thoughts as well. Please leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you haven't already. And remember to invest only money that you can afford to lose. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Cheers.